Okay. Um, we are teleporting. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are teleporting across the lands. We are now Superman. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! What's going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again and yet again. We are back on Atlas, and I am super, super excited about this episode because we, nerds, yes, we, are going to go whale hunting. I'm excited about this because whales, I didn't know this before. I just found this out, but whales actually give... Uh, gold and I'm excited about that I wanted to see how they kind of compare to treasure maps and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and do that now to be able to do that it is raining like cats and dogs out here to be able to do that we need a specialized boat okay now as a little bit bummed um, we've got over there we've got the skadoosh right and the skadoosh is the bruiser brigantine of battling SOTDs we also have the slipstream which is pure speed it's decked out to be pure speed now we used to have the sandman over here and i was a little bit bummed to be honest with you because the sandman uh, it was just a regular everyday uh, schooner but i've refitted it i really didn't have anything else to i could really do with it um after i built the slipstream and the skadoosh and i was a little bit bummed i didn't want to scuttle it because it was our first real big boat so i've gone ahead and i've refitted it and it's specifically fitted to be a whale hunter now. And I'm super excited about that. Let me show you exactly what I've done so far. All right, so in the back here, I've gone ahead and done harpoons. Now, harpoons are the way you want to whale hunt in this, basically. On the back here, if you can look, you might be able to see it. It's super small. I can't even see it. That's a 2.3% that's a uh, ballista turret. All of these ballista turrets on the back, these four right here, are all high quality. That one's a 4.4. Uh, let's see. This one is a 7.7, 7, uh, 7 .7, I think. And then this one is a 6.9. I can't really see it very well. Um, all four of these are specially fine, high quality, crafted ballistas to do the most amount of damage. Now, the reason I've got them back here is because I figured when I first started the game, I was rafting around in a raft looking for an island to actually play on and to set up our first base. The thing was, was I got followed by two whales at the same time and I was able to outrun them but I also noticed they stayed directly behind the boat just like the SOTDs do when you guys saw me do the slipstream video and I was able to shoot them while staying in front of them and slightly running away I figured we can do that same setup exactly and we can use these high quality um, fine ballistas back here to do all the damage that we need to do on top of that I've got two up in the front now I don't believe that these guys are gonna be needed to be completely honest with you this is basically emergency they're not high quality ones um, they're just regular everyday ballistas but they're for emergencies if I see somebody being chased by a whale they're just about to you know sink their ship or they're in trouble I might be able to chase the whale and shoot them with these however the thing I was kind of worried about was the fact that I need to get close enough to well to either aggro it or get its attention somehow. So what I've also done, and I might change this right here, but what I've also done is, do I have, okay, master volume, I wanted to make sure. I have fit four, look at these guys, these guys freak me out, look at these arms, they are freaking me out, they're doing like yoga pilates or something, I don't know. I have fitted four of these ballistas downstairs um, and for some reason that guy is just sweeping instead of actually mounting that cannon okay so I fit four of them down here now what I figured we could do is instead of trying to get as close as we can to the whale and then skirting it till we get in front of it and get aggro I would pull up broadside and use these regular ballistas down here 
to do a little bit of damage to them and then get the attention of the whale so they'll follow us. That way I don't have to get as close and I can kind of line up the ship a little bit better so we're actually running from the whale and letting it, you know, turn around and start to chase us. So I figured we'll go ahead and try that out. Everything's ready, everything's set up and ready to go. And we're going to give this a go. So what we're going to do is we're, I think we're ready to go right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off. The only thing I feel like we need is we're going to need a fire and I'm going to need to place it somewhere. I have no idea where. Uh, do I, do I have an extra fire in here? I think I might. Do I? I do not. I need to make an extra fire. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the north. Now if I go, let's do this instead. Let's go to Atlas. If I go up to the north, we're going to stay out of C1. We're going to go up to... We could go always go up to here, but I don't know if I want to do that because this is the ghost ship route. And if we run into the ghost ship, we're not going to be happy. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to go up to E1 up here, first of all. Now, these are northern areas. They're cold. I need to bring furs, which I've got. I need to make sure I've got a fire behind me on the wheel so I don't freeze to death. And we're going to look for some possibly blue whales up here. I don't think we're going to find the great white whale. Um, but we're going to look for some whales up here, and then we're going to see if we can, we can go ahead and attack them. So I'm going to build an extra fire, and then we're going to be on our way. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and sail around till I get a hold of the very first whale. And we'll get going. Actually, we could probably take off right now. Let's see how fast this thing is with, is with all of the... With all of the weight on it, we're at 4,577, which is around half of our total weight. Um, so let's go ahead and go like this. Let's go ahead and drop sails. We're at about half of our total weight. So I think we've still got some good speed. Yeah, it looks like we've still got some good speed. Hopefully the top end speed is pretty good. Yeah, we've still got plenty of speed to be outrunning any whales that we need. It's still fairly quick. Um, it looks cool as hell with all of the harpoons on it. So I need to go ahead and turn this way. I need to go south or north east, northeast. Never eat soggy waffles. So we need to go east, northeast, which is up this way. Um, we'll go ahead and zone over. We'll get into the cold area. I'll make sure that we're not freezing to death up there. And we have lost the wind. Awesome. Uh, we'll make sure I'll make sure that we're not freezing up there and then we'll go ahead and be right back when I'm actually able to find a whale and we'll see how this actually plays out. The only thing I'm really nervous about is once you kill the whale, I think it attracts a bunch of sharks. So I'm going to have to kill the whale, then jump in the water with the sharks or at least get close enough before they eat it. Jump in the wet in the water with the sharks and then get into its inventory and get the gold out. And hopefully it's a pretty decent amount of gold. OK. There's a whale. I'm actually in C1, but I figured I figured it's a little bit closer. Plus, I need to kind of open up the fog again since the update kind of closed all of the fog, uh, the update to five servers. I'm looking through my spyglass, but I'm not actually seeing what level this guy is. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's because I'm not close enough or what is going on. Um, I don't have the wind on my side, to be completely honest with you. Um, so I'm trying to think exactly how we should do this. I'm wondering if I should maybe get over to its its right side and then maybe go past. That way we could have a little bit of wind going with us. Um, I also want to make sure that I'm not really around. Actually, if I turn, if I aggro it and then I turn, I probably would have. And that's another problem that you have up here in the north. SOTDs. Uh, and they can be quite high level, to be completely honest with you. Uh, okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and jockey for position. See if I can get up broadside to it and maybe take on... I could probably target it right now. And the front guns, the front ballistas could probably hit it, maybe. I've got 400 bolts on me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press C and see if any of those hit. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and get broadside to it. it they, they pretty much just go ahead and, and, and swim in circles until you aggro them. 
So I'm going to go ahead. Let's. Oh, see, we got that in the way. That's not going to be fun. Looks like our side cannons are working, or our side ballistas are working pretty well. But I'm just not close enough to hit it. I don't understand what's going on. I've hit it most, I've hit it plenty of times with bolts, but for some reason it's not aggroing onto me. I don't know if I just need to get closer or what's going on. So we're going to ride right up its butt. We're probably going to get tail flicked a couple of times. We're just going to start shooting and hopefully we can catch aggro from it. There we go. Okay, so we got aggro now. He's turning around. I'm just going to keep firing. Now I'm going to slow down a little bit, and I'm going to turn off my ballistas. I'm going to slow down and let him come after me a little bit. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straightened out a little bit. Make sure there's no STODs, SOTDs. And then we're going to go ahead and just press V. V didn't do anything. So we're going to go ahead and do this. See how he's following along? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we just did it. We killed the whale. Monstrous blue whale has been defeated. Now, I got to turn around before the sharks get it. Because I think that sharks, it actually attracts sharks. Let's go ahead and get the sails going around here. And get up there. I want to get close. I wonder if I can actually pull it in with hooks. That would be really, really convenient if I could pull it in with hooks. we got to get up there before the sharks get to it. I don't know if I'll actually be able to harvest anything from it or what it is. Z, 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 Z. But usually you can harvest everything. Okay, just stop, stop. We're, we're jumping in. We're jumping in. There's probably going to be sharks everywhere. Okay, so access inventory E. E, F, E, A, B, C. So 1,395 is what I got from it. I might as well just see if I can harvest stuff from it. Okay, so animal meat, leather, prime meat. And it's going to give a lot. I don't know what that was, but it scared me. Whatever that, that loud noise is. Is there sharks around? Okay, this thing is massive, guys. This thing is... Look how big this thing... It's huge. That's what she said. Okay, so... Oh, looks like we get blubber. Okay. I didn't know we'd get blubber. Okay, so is that... What was that? Was that a dolphin? I think that was a dolphin. That's got to be a shark. No. Nope. What is that? Is that... Oh, is that a baby whale? That's a baby whale! No, that's a dolphin. That's a dolphin. It looked like a baby whale. He was scaring the hell out of me. Um, okay, so that is... That is whale hunting. That was a monstrous blue whale. We got 1,300... Well, we got 1,395. I think my gamma is way up there. I wanted you guys to see it, and it was dark, so just don't, yeah, don't, you know what I'm talking about. 1,395. We got Blubber, which... Right-click for more options. Okay. Is something attacking us? It sounds like something's attacking us. It might have been that dolphin. He was probably mad at us for killing the blue. I don't need all of this meat. There's just no reason to have all this prime meat and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and toss all of this stuff. I'm going to keep the blubber and I'm going to do some research and see exactly what the blubber is used for. Um, I'm also going to keep the hide because we can always use hide. But honestly, blubber, that's... Oh, it's just oil. Okay, it's just oil. And I'm hearing something thumping on our decks. I don't know if that's... I don't know what that is. Something's flump, flumping the bumping on our decks. So there's a monstrous blue well. Now, I forgot to tell you guys before, uh, before we left, the reason that I chose to go with the Sandman. And that's because it's almost perfect the way I set it up originally. Um... <clears throat> I put a little bit into weight, and I put a little into sturdiness. I've got 132% uh, sturdiness, and the reason that is is because if we get tail whipped a couple of times, um, and they can do that, they can actually tail whip you, and they can bring your entire ship under the water. It's crazy. I've seen it before. But we've got a bunch of sturdiness to help 
you know, or the sturdiness. We, we, yeah, no, no sinking, please. Yes, that's good. Uh, we also got a bunch of additional weight all the way up to 10,000. So we can carry that additional gold that's going to be on there. And then we've got the sturdiness to back it up. Now, to be completely honest with you, I've put in four additional crew, which is like eight points. I would kind of like to respec if I could and actually turn it to where um, uh, we could use those 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 points to go into sturdiness and then split it between sturdiness and a little bit of weight. As far as we we're down to 291 as far as spear bolts go so i used quite a lot but i think i used quite a lot just trying to get its aggro um you have to be very close to it it these did work the the cannons down here or the can why do i keep calling them cannons the ballistas worked down here that's how i was able to actually get its aggro uh but you have to get a lot closer than i thought you would um i was hitting it from super far away i was easily hitting it from it's already disappeared. I was easily hitting it from quite a distance away, and it wasn't aggroing onto me. It was just, it was almost like the hitboxes weren't registering the hits because I seen bolts all over its tail and everything else. So that's kind of something you got to take into account. You're going to have to get close. So you might as well make sure you get into the wind, make sure you're going the direction you want to go, get in close, you know, get its aggro, and then take off. Now we're in a storm. I'll be right back. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Found another one. Uh, don't know what level it is. I'm going very slow, and I don't like the fact that we've, we're so close to so many... So many islands. But I think if I turn a little bit port side... I could probably catch it just a little bit. Maybe we can use the front guns... To get its attention here. Oh, I'm really close to the tail. All right, we got its attention. See how that tail smack comes up? All right, we got an STOD over there. We're turning a little bit port side. I'm hitting C to turn those guys off so I can get him behind me. I don't need to do that, to be honest with you. We do so much bloody damage. I could probably stop right here and just keep going. or And just keep, keep firing at him. But if we can just get him to chase us a little bit... Get him behind us so we can do the big damage with the big guns. A couple more hits is probably all it's going to need. Okay, so Monsters Blue Well. It doesn't say exactly what level it is. Um, which is kind of weird. But I guess it's just a general... Okay, you've just killed the Monsters Blue Well. Now there is, I believe, I don't know 100% for sure, but I believe... That there is a um, there is a big white whale in the game somewhere. I don't know if we have it on this server. It's a five by five, so I was I would assume that we do have it on the server. I mean, we've got the ghost ship, we've got merchants, we got everything else. So I'd assume that it's probably you know it's probably on this server, but you never know. You never know what they did. Well, they see there's sharks. There's sharks going after it. I'm fine with that, as long as I can get these out. 1,200 and... What the hell is going on? Where am I going? Wait, I don't understand. Help, stop, no. What is going on? Uh, okay. Um, we are teleporting. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are teleporting across the lands. We are now Superman. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are flying. It is the greatest thing that's ever happened in this game. We have actually already zoned over. What can you do about that? Absolutely nothing. In the near future, in a land far, far away, there came a hero, the nightmare, the mystic nightmare. Zooming across the, the waves of, of time to destroy all whales and all SOTDs. Round three, ladies and gentlemen, round three. I've actually gone over into D1. Now, I'm kind of nervous about this because the fact of the matter is, is this is actually where... Uh, this looks like a really big whale. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! The 
that was, I think, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that was the legendary white whale that just scuttled us and the ship. I believe it was. That thing was monstrous. I don't know if I can, I can't get back. There's no way I can get back and repair. There's no way that I can get back and repair. There, uh, oh my god, do you guys believe that? We have got 3,000 gold, or 2,600 uh, 2, gold on this thing. And to be completely honest, look at that. Monster sperm whale. Close okay, so that was a monster sperm whale. That just ended in absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. Look at that. He's still coming over here to beat the hell out of it. Abs look at the size of this thing. Oh my god. Look at him. Oh, that just ended in absolute disaster. <laughs> It's over. It's over for the for the Sandman. Oh, I did two days worth of work, ladies and gentlemen. Two days worth of work trying to get that thing ready. I don't know. Oh. <sighs> oh, jeez. That's just horrible. That's just horrible. Two days worth of work putting that boat together to get it ready for this one episode. We had 2,600, holy white screen. Come on. We had 2,600 gold on that thing. And I decided to make the journey. I decided to make the journey from C1 over here to D1. And I encountered the sperm whale right about here. I was more nervous because this is where the ghost ship route was. So I was really paying attention because during the day, the scuttlebutt around the water cooler, if you will, is that the ghost ship can't be seen, but you can still see its wake. So I was watching its wake for its wake. I saw the sperm whale, didn't realize it was a sperm whale, and you guys saw the rest. That was insane. I... I made the mistake of getting too close to it. I think I probably could have taken it. We had about 300 harpoons left. Um, I probably could have taken it if I hadn't have got so close. But because of the of the blue whales, the monstrous blue whales, and how close they made me get to them to be able to attack and 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 get aggro from it. I thought I needed to get closer to that sperm whale. I didn't realize it was a sperm whale, and I made that mistake, and one head whip, that's all it took was one head whip uh, to take the entire... Oh, my NPCs are gone. To take the entire um, Sandman out. One head whip, that was it. Knocked me off of the steering wheel, probably destroyed the steering wheel. That was ridiculous. Uh, okay, so final comparison with whaling compared to treasure hunting. With whaling, um, and I'm talking about like from the point where you're ready, like you've already made your grenades for treasure hunting, you've already made your harpoons, um, or your bolts for, uh, for whale hunting. I can't believe I just lost all of that. That, I was so excited. I had so much gold. I was like, yes, this is going to be like three days worth of not having to go gold hunting. Um, so final comparison with the treasure hunting. Is it? It looks like it's gamma up already with the treasure hunting. You have to find the maps. Once you find the maps, you have to look for the actual island. Then you have to sail to the island. Um, it's pretty quick to get there, but finding the right map and the right quality of map to get you that much gold per whale that we were getting is a lot harder to get because you have to fight a high quality a more of a high quality um map treasure map basically you're looking at probably around 13 probably a 13 quality 13 or higher quality to get around a thousand three hundred um, and soloing it, you'd have to solo it because so you don't have to split it with your other company mates. Um, 
hunting for whales is actually really lucrative. The problem is, is it takes a little bit more time to find the whales. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice. If you decide to do this, center of the map is where you want to go. Okay. Um, I found one whale over here on C1 on the right, on the left side, because I knew that it was over here. Uh, I've passed them before, but most of the time I found them in the center of the map. We found the sperm whale here. We found this one over here. I've been uh, in E1 the other day. I found two whales, two blue whales in here that I just passed along. And then when the game first came out and I st first started playing over here in B1, I found two whales over here. I believe it was that chased me down. Well, they didn't chase me. They were following me. They didn't actually hurt me. And then over here in A1, I found them over in A1 also. I find that you find them most of the time in um, the the northern climates, um, the cold climates. So it is definitely worth it as long as you can stay away from the sperm whales. And if you do find one, you need to make sure you keep your distance. We lost everything. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did. Even though we lost all of that, I'll probably rebuild another whale, sh a whale hunter. Um, keep gaming. Keep doing it. I have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye bye